Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Redstone Raceway. I'm your host, Rock Builder, and today we have an exciting race for you all. With one question in mind, what is the fastest way to send a redstone current vertically? Today we are going to be testing what is the fastest way to send that redstone current vertically, 100 blocks. We have five competitors on both sides, on the upward and the downward side. So without further ado, let's introduce the upward group. Starting us off today, we have the father of all redstone. Please give a round of applause for the redstone dust. Going 15 blocks high after every repeater, the redstone dust is going to give everyone a run for its money. By using glass or glass blocks or slabs like so, allow the oldest redstone part to go vertically in both directions. With this, with just to add a repeater, it can do it all over again. Next in line, we have the torch tower. The limpicity of this one might just win here. With the torch, with torch block, torch block, it really is the easiest one that everyone can make. Third in line, we have the newbie to the group. We have observer tower. Join the game in dot 15. It is a simple but expensive solution for wiring redstone. Observer tower can be extracted with all observers or with redstone dust every other block to help bring down the cost and bring up the speed. We have to see how she fares in this competition. Fourth in line, we have the trusty old piston pusher. This piston pusher pushes 11 slime blocks and one redstone block to activate another piston to push another 11 slime blocks and another redstone block and so on. This construction will not come without difficulty for survival minecrafters finding that much slime, but it is a sure way to get something done fast. And finally, we, in fifth, we got the water elevator. All you need is a magma or soul sand block in the bottom, and then a piston and an observer, and you are all set to go. Now, on the downward group, it is fairly similar, but just very slightly different. For example, the father of all redstone, the redstone dust, the only difference is the flip of the repeater so it will go down, not up. For the redstone torch tower, it just needs expanded one more block out, and then it just needs some more redstone dust. This allows it to do the exact same thing, except it will go down instead of up. For the observer tower, it just flip, you just flip all the observers around, and that's to allow the detecting to go downward instead of upward. For the piston pusher, obviously you got to have the pistons pushing downward instead of upward. And besides that, you just flip the whole circuit. And then in fifth, since we couldn't get the water elevator to go down, we have an item dropper. This is just to give you an idea on how fast these other redstone contraptions are compared to just dropping an item. And now that you have met all our competitors for the upward and downward race, go ahead and place your bets for both of them in the comments below. And this is also a good time now that if you do like this video or like other videos I've made, please subscribe and hit the like button and that will be greatly appreciated. And with that, let the races begin. Three, two, one. All right, we got a good race here. Oh, the redstone dust came in first place, followed by the piston pusher. Then the redstone torch came in third. We got the observer tower and the water column, water elevator, neck and neck. But it looks like the observer is taking the lead. The observer just finished. And obviously, that's going to give one pulse instead of a full solid one. So if you wanted a full solid one, you're going to need a T flip flop there. And then it looks like the water elevator is going to come in last. Still coming up all the way to the top. But that is not all over. Because if we reactivate it, you will notice that the water elevator all of a sudden will get a great burst in speed. So I'm stop I'm starting it like resetting the system right now. And you'll notice that within a couple seconds, you're gonna see the light flash over at the water elevator side. So this water elevator has a unique personality that it likes to go slow when powered. But then when unpowered, it will go very, very fast. So for some of you guys that need some sort of variable system, the water elevator might actually be the choice for you. With that, let's do the downward push. Three, two, one. All right, we're starting again. It looks like the redstone dust did finish first. And then we have the piston pusher, redstone torch, and then the item, and then the observer tower is coming in last. So there you go, guys. If you do want to build something and you need a vertical redstone signal, 
The quickest way and the easiest way to do it is just simply do it with the redstone dust. If you want to do it with pistons, that will work fast. And the redstone torch tower is fast. But if you really want speed, observers is not the way to go. This is Rock Builder, and I'll see you all in the next video.